Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today we're gonna work on the Bear Cub Crochet Poncho just like you see it here. This is using Bernat Pip Squeak Yarn. In the tutorial I'm switching off with Bernat Softy Chunky just because it's easier to see the stitches. If switching off with Bernat uh, Softy Chunky please use an eight millimeter size L crochet hook in order to work it. If you use the exact same hook with Bernat Softy Chunky that the collar will not be able to get over the child's head. So make sure that you do substitute. I will be saying that it's a six millimeter size J. That's because it goes with this particular pattern but if you're using Bernal Softy Chunky use an eight millimeter size L crochet hook. So let's continue on in today's tutorial. So the poncho comes in two sizes. You can see in red that it's six to twelve and eighteen to twenty-four. So whenever there's a decision to be made on this pattern you'll notice it says chain sixty-eight in red or chain seventy-two in the in the yellow. So whatever size that you're working on is a set of instructions you're going to follow. As a key reference what I like to do is go through my pattern first, circle all the ones that are the sizes that I'm going to be using so that I don't actually uh, mess that up. But because the inspiration is doing color coding it also makes it a lot easier compared to the patterns that you might find elsewhere. So it's suggesting to use Bernat Pip Squeak yarn. This is very hard to teach with this kind of yarn. It's nice and fluffy. So I'm gonna be using Bernat Softy Chunky yarn in order to play today and you can see the different colors of balls here. Um, for my size here I'll put on camera on how much that I actually used the Bernat Softy Chunky because right now I'm starting to use it and I really don't know at this moment. So I'm still gonna be using the same size crochet hook of a six millimeter size J in order to play. So finally when we get started we're going to be starting at the very base of this poncho and working our way upward. You're going to need a tape measure to measure how many inches that you need to make in order to get to the height and then we start decreasing as we get towards the neck and then we do the, the hood and then the ears last. So without further ado let's grab your crochet hook and let's get ready and let's get going. So a six millimeter size J crochet hook today and I'm using Bernat Softy Chunky. The pattern is using Bernat Pip Squeak just for your information. So it's gonna say to chain 68. I am doing the six to 12 month size here on camera. So I'm gonna chain 68 but watch you don't wanna have your chain twisted so there's a secret to that. So just, just chain a 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Once you have your 10 what I want you to do is just drop the, the loop and put your hook into the very first chain and then put this on and continue along. So let's do another 10. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. And I want you to go to all the way to 68 for me and now that you put it on here this will prevent this from twisting around on you. So when you go to join it at the end of this uh, uh, section then the chain will not be twisted. So let's carry on and get all the way to 68. You're currently at 20. I now have 68 and now I have to slip stitch in order to go to the first ring. So we have to slip, go pull through here and here and that's done. So now because you had it already on the hook this chain should not be twisted when you're going to work with it in round number one. Let's begin round number one and let's get started. The stitch work is like the moss stitch as we're working our way around. So we're going to then chain up and we're going to single crochet in the first one that we did the join. So just single crochet in and then chain one, skip one chain and go to the second over and single crochet and you're gonna do that all the way around. So you end up with these little holes that are in there and for pip squeak that is just really awesome because it's easier to work with. So chain up one, skip one and single crochet in the other and the next one after that and please do that all the way around for this round. So now that I've come all the way back around you have to make sure that it's not twisted. So just follow the top layer going all the way around and making sure it stays on the top. If it's turned over at any point just twist it and make sure that this side is still the top. So just join it then to the top of the beginning single crochet and that's done. So what I want you to do is that we're going to move on to round number two. We're gonna do round number two for three and a half inches and then we're gonna carry on from that point. So let's begin. So for three and a half inches which includes this section all the way three and a half you wanna do the same thing. So right now you wanna slip stitch. So you always end up on a single crochet. So you wanna slip stitch to the first chain one space, chain one and single crochet in that space. Then chain one and jump to the next single crochet space. Just open it up with your fingers if you have to and if you're using pip squeak you'll probably have to as well. So chain one, skip to the next chain one space. So 
chain one and single crochet in the next chain one space. Please do that and when you get all the way back around you're going to slip stitch to the single crochet here and then um, slip stitch then to the first chain one space, chain one and then single crochet and start again. So the seam line is actually gonna go up on an angle just like you see. So let's uh, carry on and meet me after three and a half inches and I'll see you there in just a few moments. So we now have our three and a half inches done and if you're doing the other size it's five and a half and there's a set of instructions then for 18 to 24 months uh, for that size. Just go look at the pattern but for I'm gonna do both sizes now because we're ready for that in this particular uh, pattern here. So we're going to begin and we need to shape the neck area. So let's begin to do that next. So let's begin and we're gonna take this round really quite slowly. So we've already slip stitched to the uh, one when we, when we came back around. So now we have to slip stitch to the first chain one space chain up one and the very first one here we have to put this one and the next chain one space together. So just going in, pull through, don't finish it going into the next one, in, pull through. You have three loops on the hook. You're gonna pull through all three loops and that was the two together stitch using those spaces. So now you're just gonna chain one and you're going to then for the next seven times you're going to then just single crochet in the next. So let's count these out and then chain one. So that was one of seven single crochet in the next, chain one, two of seven. So just as uh, uh, interest here and to keep it easier in the video for me to say, I'm going to chain one after I do it. Okay, so I'm gonna say the next one is three, single crochet, and let's see how I just did it. Chain one, so four, five, six, and seven. So now that the seven is in, so we're now going to then go back to the pattern and it says one single crochet two together over in the next two. So we're going to then chain one, okay, and put these next two together, chain one. And now for the next six times in a row, you are going to then just follow what we already know. So we're gonna single crochet, chain one. So that was one, this is two, this is three, four, five and six. Okay, so the chain one after the sixth one and then we're going to then continue along. So we're going to put the next two together. Just like you see and then chain one and we're going to do the next seven in a row. So going into the next, so it's one, two, this is three, four, five, six, and seven. And then just finish it off with the chain one. Make sure you get that done. This is where we have to end up back. So we're getting back there. And then it says put the next two together. Chain one. And then what you have to just do then is just do the remaining of the stitches going all the way back here. So it should be six if your counts are right. So single crochet in the next space. Chain one, one, two, three, four, five. And this is the last space. This is six. And then just chain one and then join it to the beginning. Like so. Okay, so we have it a little bit more narrowed in as you can see here. And it's really quite fabulous. So let's move on to number two and number two is an alternative round as well. So in looking at the pattern number two an alternative round. So every time it's like either two, four, six or eight or that's what you're going to do. So it's just very much maintaining what you already see. So there's no decreasing required. So you're gonna just slip stitch to the first chain one space, chain one and one single crochet into the same one, chain one and then go into the next space and do that all the way around. This is an alternative round and you'll be doing this every other round as I stated before. Okay, so just do that and I'll see you at the end of this round. Just join it with a slip stitch and get ready for round number three. So finishing up round number two, chain one, slip stitch to the top of the first that you started with and then I'm going to then move on to round number three. We're gonna do it another decrease. So we'll do that nice and slowly too. So let's move on to round number three. So we're gonna do a decrease again in this round. So let's move on to the first one here and we're just going to slip stitch to the first chain one space, chain one and we're gonna put the first two together. So I'm going to say it like we did before. So pull through and through. So the two um, 
spaces and then pull throughout three and that just decrease and then chain one. So we're going to do it decrease again but for the next stretch there's gonna be what I said before is that there's gonna be a single crochet chain one and then single crochet chain one and I'm just gonna include both of those as like either one, two and etc. So let's continue. So for the next six in a row we're just going to single crochet chain one. So that was one of six. Okay, single crochet chain one that's two of six. This is three, four, five and six and make sure you chain one after that six. So then we continue along and we're gonna put the next two together. Chain one and now the next five are going to be just regular. So just going into the next space, chain one after it. So single crochet chain one that's one of five this is two of five, this is three, four and five. Make sure you single crochet after that fifth one and now the next two are gonna be coming together. Chain one and now the next six are going to be regular. So just single crochet, chain one. So one, two, three, four, five and six and then chain one after the sixth one. So then we're gonna put the next two together. Chain one and you're coming up to the very end so there should be five stitches in a left that's in the single that's in the spaces. So single crochet chain one so one, two, three, four, and five and that just takes you right to the end. Chain one and slip stitch to the beginning. Okay so that was round number three. So let's move on to round number four. Round number four is exactly what you already know. It's an alternative round so it's just a regular round. So just slip stitch to your first chain one space, chain one, single crochet in the same one, chain one and jump. Okay so you already know how to do this. It's just a regular there's no decreasing. It's an alternative round round number four. So please do that and we'll start round number five in just a moment. So I'm coming up to the end of round number four chain one and I slip stitch to the beginning and let's begin round number five. So we're gonna do another decreasing round this time again. So slip stitch over to the first chain one space, chain up one and we're gonna put the first two together. Okay so going in and in just like that and then we're going to chain one and the next five are going to be on their own. So let's just count those out. So single crochet, chain one so that's one of five, single crochet, chain one that's two of five and keep on with that same kind of counting. I'm just not gonna count the chain one. So single crochet, so this is three, this is four, this is five. So now the next two are going to be come together chain one and now the next four are going to be on their own. So just going into the next chain one that's one of four. This is two, three and four. Now let's continue along. The next two are gonna be come together. Chain one and then the next five are going to be on their own. So let's count those out. So one, two, three, four and five and now the next two are together. Chain one and I wanna make sure that I actually, I didn't chain one after that last one so I'm gonna make sure I go back and do it. So chain one, put the next two together, chain one and then the next final four are gonna be on their own. So one, two, three and four. Chain one and slip stitch then to the beginning. So now the round number six is your next round which is an alternative round so you already know how to do this. So just slip stitch over, chain one, one single crochet into each one of those ones followed by a chain one and do that all the way around and then slip stitch it back to the top of the beginning single crochet and then we're gonna continue then going on to round number seven. So let's continue on to round number seven. I've already slip stitched and let's move on over. 
and we're going to do another decrease. So chain up one and put the first two together followed by a chain one and it's exactly how I've been saying it before. So go into the next one for four times. So it's one, two, three and four. Make sure you follow it with the chain one after it and then the next two are together Just like that and now for the next chain one and then follow the next three are by themselves. So one, two and three followed by chain one and the next two are together. Chain one and then the next four times are on their own. So one, two, three and four. And then the next two are together. Don't forget the chain one before you start that. Chain one and then the final three are on their own. So one, two and three. Chain one and then slip stitch to the beginning that you started with and now we're back on an alternative round. So this is round number eight. So chain up one, sorry just slip stitch over to the first space first chain of one single crochet in, in that one chain one and then one into each going all the way around for round number eight. So let's continue on to round number nine. We're going to slip stitch over and then chain up one and we're gonna do another decrease around. So slip stitch over the next two or sorry I'm um, single crochet two together over the next two chain up one and the next three in a row are going to be on their own. So one, two and three chain one to to move on. So the next two are together. Chain up one and then the next uh, two are to are by themselves. So one and two and now the next two are together. Chain one and the next three are by themselves. chain one and the next two are together. Chain one okay and then single crochet the final two that are left and chain one and join to the top of the beginning single crochet that you started with. Okay so let's carry on. And so we're now going to go for round number 10 and round number 10 we're just going to slip stitch over and this one here we do not join it at the end of this round. So we're gonna now then begin to shape the hood from this particular point. So what we want to do is that we want to chain up one, single crochet in the same space. Okay, chain one, single crochet into the next and we want to go all the way around like that but we do not wanna join it. This is part of your hood that is going to be going that. So please do that and see me at the end of this round. So now that I've come all the way back around I didn't join it and I'm gonna turn it now to the wrong side. It says wrong side. So let's start the hood and we're going to then have increases in here mixed in with uh, regular stitch work that you already have already started. So you're gonna chain up one and it's gonna be one single crochet in the same stitch and then one single crochet into this first chain one space and then you're going to then carry on with what you already know. So chain one and for the next four in a row you want it to be what you already know. So single crochet, chain one. So that was one and two, three and four and make sure that you chain one after the fourth. The next one is gonna be an increase. So you're going to do a single crochet, chain one, single crochet into the same one. That'll help it increase and then over the next uh, what we have is the next four times is that you want to do what you already know. So chain up one, single crochet. So one, two, three and four. Chain up one. The next one is gonna be an increase. So ch single crochet, chain one, single crochet and then followed by chain one and then the final remaining is gonna with what you already know. So you're going to single crochet 
chain one. So one, two, and this is be the last space. And then you're going to single crochet in the final stitch that's available to you. Okay, so that is becoming your collar. So you're gonna turn your work and it's really quite easy to be able to do. So let's turn our work and start the next round. So the next round is going to be repeat and this is the first one of two repeat rows. So this is the first row and you're going to increase what you already have there. So you're just gonna maintain. So we're gonna chain one, single crochet into the first one, chain one and then you're gonna go into the next chain one space that's available to you and single crochet, chain one and you keep doing that even on the one that it's about, you're about to hit that's the increase. So this one has single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the same one. So here you're just chaining one and you're going right in between the two of them. That helps it do an increase and then single crochet and then jump to the other side. So that's how it just subtly increases its size. So chain one and keep on going. Just look for the ones that have that increase in there and make sure that you do figure those out. So you, the next one is the increase. So chain up one, go right in between them, chain one and go jump to the other side. Chain one. And keep on going and then eventually what's gonna happen here is that you'll end up then with a single crochet. So in the very end you're just going to make sure that you uh, chain one, skip over the next one and just single crochet right into the last one there. Then turn your work and we're going to then continue and we're, so we're just gonna turn our work and we're going to then just maintain the pattern with what we already know. So we're going to just chain up one okay and you're going to single crochet in the first one and you're going to single crochet in the first chain one space and then maintain the pattern. So chain one, jump to the next space and you wanna carry on doing this all the way around. So there's no increasing required uh, for this at all. It's just it's gonna maintain with what you have. So you wanna repeat the last two rows which includes this one um, just several times in order to get to the height which is a total of eight inches uh, for this and uh, once you get there then you're good to go. You're gonna notice it's really not forming a hood. It's just more fo forming a cape at this moment but then we're gonna take our darning needle and we're gonna kind of uh, put things together. So what I want you to do is I just want you to maintain. Let's just quickly review what those two rows are and uh, we'll carry on from that point. So because this is a wrong side so go, you go right into the space in between and then single crochet in the next one. So one of the uh, rounds or rows that you have to jump over immediately, one of them that you have to put two in a row. So let's just can go back. So this is the first one of two that you need to repeat. So chain up one, single crochet in the first one, chain one and then go to the next chain one space. So you're skipping over the first one there and then you're just gonna go all the way around and then you're just gonna continue to repeat with what you already know. So it's the alternative round. That to make that happen okay. So let me just uh, get you to the other side here. It's gonna just take me a few moments. This is a really kind of a quick pattern. I've always kind of avoided these patterns in the past. Um, just I thought they were a lot more work than they are so that's kind of a, a good thing right. I think it also helps that it's kind of the moss stitch as well so it's making it jump a lot quicker than what I would expect as well. So I'm coming to the other side. So you go right into this space and then chain one and then go into the last one and then I turn my work and just do the other round. So chain up one, single crochet, single crochet in the first chain one space and then jump. So please repeat these last two rows a total of um, until it gets to eight inches for this particular size. So it's eight inches from the neck up. So continuing along the hood now is now eight inches tall from the neck and I've finished on the wrong side. So this is where I am and when I turn it I'm going to be starting on the right side. So this is the side that is we've been working with at the base here. So what I want to do then is that I want to do a, a decreasing round uh, a row. We're gonna do a couple of these uh, before we finish this item as well. So we're going to single uh, chain one, single crochet in the first one. Okay and we're gonna skip the next single crochet. So chain one 
and you're gonna then single crochet in the next. So we're just gonna say that's we're gonna do that six times. So just like what you did before. So single crochet, chain one. So that's one and two, three, four, five, and six. Chain one. Make sure you finish with a chain one. Put the next two together. Okay, chain one and then the next six in a row again. So one and two and three four five and six just like that and then you're going to then put the next two together just like that chain one and then single crochet in the final. Just like that. Okay so you've done a decrease just like you wanna do. So let's go on to the next row. So turning our work let's move to the next row. Okay so we're gonna maintain what we have. So chain up one just look for what you need to do. So chain up one single crochet in the first. Okay and you're gonna single crochet right into the first chain one space. Chain one and then keep on moving like you had been before. So there's no decreasing required for this round, uh, row. So just continue just to put in with what you already know. So please do that all the way across and then meet me at, for the next row. So this is the final row. We're gonna do one more decrease and then that's it. So we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna single crochet in the first one just like that. And then we want to chain one. And we're gonna skip over the single crochet that you see and then just continue on and it has to be done five times. So this is one this is two, three, four, and five. Chain one. So make sure you finish the chain one. Put the next two together. Chain one and then the next five are gonna be on their own. So chain one, sorry single crochet chain one. So one, two, three, four, and five. Chain one. Put the next two together which is almost at the other side. Chain one and then just single crochet into the final. And that's it. So what we want to do is then just uh, fasten this off. So let's do so. But when you fasten this off leave an extra long tail because you're gonna use that to sew the top together. So let's do that next. Let's sew the top together. So we have the tail left over from the very edge just like you see. I want you to put a, a darning needle onto the other side of that strand. Now I want you to fold it in half and I want you to match the stitches. So just do a really nice whip stitch across the top. So just coming across to the other side that matches and just do a really nice slip stitch across or sorry a whip stitch across. Okay and then just come to the next stitches and what you're noticing is that I'm using the two inner strands. I'm not using the full stitch so that it's not so obvious. So if you use a full stitch to be able to sew together you'll have a lump on the top of the head. So just going into the back of the one and the back of the other. Once you're getting very close to the point which I'm gonna be in the next one after this one. Let's just go right into the very last one. Once you get there I want you to then insert the needle into the underside of this and I want you to fasten this off. So how to do that is that you're going to put your strand in a total of three times. So just dragging it through some fibers. Don't let it pop out to the other side of the project. Just pull it through and you want to go once. Go through the other back in the other direction. Again staying on this side of the work for two and three. Once you're in, in and out three times you're good to go. Trim it right down and your hood has just been sewn together on the very top. So it's got a bit of shaping to it and that's awesome. So let's uh, continue along in the, today's pattern. Okay so let's make your ears. You need to make a total of four ears. Two with the main color and two in white that goes in to the other one. So you're gonna overlay those once you get those done. So what I want you to do is that you have to make four of these. Okay so two in the main color and two in the white. So you're going to then just start off with a slip knot and then chain two. 
and then in the very first chain I want you to put six single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Once you get six done just slip stitch it to the beginning one and just pull through. So round number two is the last round already so it's just chaining up of total of one and put two single crochets in each stitch going all the way around. So what I want you to do is that I want you to make four of these two in the main color, two in the white and then join me back here and we're gonna put those together and then I'll show you how to sew them onto your outfit as well. So get these done and then I'll see you back here. So when you're done all the way around I would leave an extra long tail on each just in case you would like to use it as a sewing uh, basis especially this color. You're going to use this color to sew it down to the project anyway. So it's gonna be a total of one, two, three, four, five, and six and then slip stitch it to the beginning. So these are pretty cute and that's it. So make a total of four of these. So now what we're going to do is that we're gonna attach these two ears together through single crochet. So you're just going to take your regular main color again and you're gonna go through the front thickness of the white. Now all the stitches match each other, meet, <laughs> match each other. So just go through the one and just match it to another one and behind. It doesn't matter because they're completely round. And I wanna leave this long strand here so that I can sew it to the project and I wanna pull it through and chain one and single crochet back in to that same spot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the straggler on the inside of the ear inside and then I'm moving to the next one and then single crochet and then moving to the next one and single crochet and you're gonna do that all the way around and then when you get all the way around just slip stitch it and what you want to do is that what I would kinda do is just leave the last stitch open and then that will sit flat down onto the um, to the hoodie as well. So continue to do that all the way around and I'll see at the end of this round. So I now have my two ears complete and uh, they turned out pretty fabulous. They're quite thick and at the back you can see there's no white that goes through it because of the way that we did it. And now we have to go back to the top of the hood and use the photograph to be able to line it up. So let's uh, take a look at the hood again and let's attach these. So all I wanna do is take a look at the center line of where things are sewn and kinda look at the photograph and see where it's gonna go and I am going to attach my first one. So I'm just gonna go right into the layers of the actual hood itself and then back up through the ear. You notice that I never went all the way around. I just stopped one short so because I, I just find it sits better. So then go back into the hood and then back up through the project or through the ear. Okay, and then back through the hood. So this is a whip stitching technique. I don't mind sewing things on crochet projects. For some people it's a big taboo. <laughs> they just don't like the extra work I suppose. And uh, we're just gonna attach it. Once I've done the front side I like to stabilize it and move to the back and just do the back to the back side. It helps it stand up better too. And when we did the snuggle sack series we uh, had this um, kind of situation as well. It just makes it look more finished. So you don't ever have to worry about somebody folding up the ear and saying oh you never sold the back. Cause you know people have nothing else better to do than to, <laughs> to talk about that kind of thing. So once you have that done let me just turn it around. And all I'm just gonna do then is just drag the yarn back and forth a total of three times. So one if you wanna do a better job to, you can do that as well if you have a better way of securing things. I try to avoid the knots on the outside of the project. So back and forth three times right down and there is my first ear. Just like you see. So now what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to look at the other one and match it to the other side and this would be quite fun. So if you did a green outfit and put these as frog eyes that would be kinda cute too. So secure the other one and I'll be right back. So now I'm all complete. I have my 
area here which is the front. It goes up into the neck and then it opens up into the collar so it slips over the child's head and then a nice little hoodie there with little bare ears on the very top. So this is it for now and as I said at the very beginning of this tutorial I used the wrong size crochet hook for this yarn. Um, at the stands if I try to get a, a child's head through the middle of this it wouldn't actually happen with this size of hook uh, because of the pipsqueak a yarn acts differently from the Bernat Softy Chunky. So make sure you do increase your hook size to an eight millimeter size L now that I say that at the end of the tutorial but I'll say that at the beginning too. So well that's it for now. Have a great day. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.